Liz. Um, Mayor Bloomberg in New York is looking at, you know, say people can live in smaller flats. I wonder uh, what this does for quality of life. Uh, I can't think that it can do very much, but he himself is living in 12,500 square feet of uh, mansion somewhere outside New York, and he's uh, suggesting that we could, that, that New Yorkers could actually live in 300 square feet. At the moment, there, at, the moment, That's nothing. I know, at the moment, there's a ban on uh, anything smaller than 400 square feet, which I thought was quite small myself, uh, but 300, it seems. But then again, it's, it's shorted, there's a shortage of living space in, in New York, and so this has been tried in Japan, I suppose. Well, it's got their slide out beds, haven't they? Yes, the hotel, they it's like a little pod. So it's a bit bigger than a prison cell, but, <laughs> but it will have a small kitchen, small bathroom, and uh, there are more single people and more smaller families, so this is his I don't think suggestion. Like, I, I, it's his suggestion, but like you say, he's living yeah. in how much? 12,500 yeah, 12, square feet. It's and, a bit and, like our politicians, they don't know, they don't know. And, and to live in day in, day, day out, space. don't get me wrong, to go on a holiday and, and be in that confined space is great, but to live in that kind of environment day in, day out, will send you stir crazy. Mm. A holiday in that kind of space? Oh no, well, it's not it's not holiday, it's time I do much either. Well, I'd be out. Yes, you would. But I think you'd have to be out if all these in New York. Well, tight for time. Let's go to the mail. Talk about mealtime manners slipping, Liz. What <laughs> what seems to be the uh, the issue with this? Doing well, there? yes, exactly. I mean, you see, a bit like Steve is doing does now. People are texting, oh. they're, they're, <laughs> they're tweeting at the dinner table. They're you know we, we're sitting there with our laptops, finishing off whatever mm. we've got, like, whatever work we've got to do. Uh, but apparently, it's not just that kind of thing that we're doing. We're um, not closing our mouths when we eat. Oh, I suppose nasty. that's because we've got to fit in any talk that we are doing while we're eating. We're not putting our knives and forks nicely together either. Those kind of manners don't matter anymore. Um, we're to not to who? who? I, I don't understand. Who are these people? There are, well, this is just, you know, it's one of these well, the, pieces yeah, of yeah, research. Oh, no, see, and, Mike and my girls, we sit at the table, we eat. My yes. phone's not at the table. Close your knife and fork, close your mouth when yep. you chew. And it's one of those things. I remember a, a few, it's about two years ago, they said, you know, children of a certain age couldn't use a knife and fork. And that was just, that was mm -hmm. like red rags. Well, I'll tell you what, manners yes. cost nothing, Absolutely. but they make a big make difference, it, that's for sure. Make don't they? Well, I, they, I, they do. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you both a little bit later on. Thanks for that. Let's get